Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ramon from District Endocrine. Today we have a very special guest, Kelly Paul. She's a certified diabetes educator. And uh, today we are going to talk about um, GLP-1s. So let's get into it and see how to use them. Okay. Okay. So much like an insulin pen, uh -huh. uh, they come with their markings. You would put, um, you would clean off the end put on a new needle, and then dial your dose. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, for instance, is Victoza. Is Victoza, right, yeah. And um, you might start your patient on 0 0.6, mm -hmm. and then maybe in a week, maybe they're not seeing you for a month, but in a week you want to bump them up to 1.2. They right. can use the same pen to do 0 0.6, mm -hmm. or 1.2. Mm -hmm. Or 1.8, 1 .8, 1 .8, right. if you get them to that point. Mm -hmm. um, but they want to start usually at the 0 0.6. You've cleaned off and let it dry. Go straight in, go straight down, count to five, and then take it straight out. Right. Really tiny needle, mm -hmm. doesn't hurt right. at all. So just like Kelly showed about Victoza, we have Ozempic pen, which is a sec uh, which is a different uh, drug, basically same GLP class of medications. Um, so it comes with different doses. You can select from um, 0 0.25 to, to uh, 0 0.5. Uh, but if if somebody's on one uh, milligrams, then they need to use a different pen, which is unlike Victoza. Okay. Now, in terms of the the mechanism, how to inject it is ex uh, is is very similar. Like we are using the same uh, needles here. Mm -hmm. So let me just give you a small demonstration. You peel off the cover, mm -hmm. and then uh, you plug this in, rotate, and then you take it out. Now there is this protective cover. You take it out. And the needle is so small, I would say maybe four millimeters, mm -hmm. and it's barely you know, visible on the camera, I guess. And then uh, you wanna clean this area up with a new uh, alcohol swab, uh, and that's technically your skin. You leave it there, let the alcohol uh, dry, and after that, uh, you're gonna just go directly 90 degree angle, and then once you're in, you press the button, you hear this noise while this is the drug is going in. Uh, while you're there, you want to count to five, one, two, three, four, five, and you take it out, okay? Uh, I took longer, but in actual practice, it's much faster. Once you are done, you want to um, put the cover back in and rotate, and then take it out, um, and then dispose the syringe. Other All right, so I, I was going the other way around. <laughs> All right, so yeah. Now we're gonna talk about what are the different areas you can use. So you can uh, use around your belly. Uh, just stay one inch away from your belly button. Uh, you can inject uh, in the front of your thighs, uh, upper part of your buttocks, and also back of your arms. So, well, do you have anything else? Uh, how to inject? I think that's it. That's it, all right. Um, take care to Mm -hmm. uh, rotate well and right. if you're right-handed you mm -hmm. can use a pen in mm -hmm. your left hand it's very very easy mm -hmm. so just rotate real well thank you so much for watching this video this is dr Rahman from district endocrine signing off uh, one word of disclaimer we are not being uh, this is not sponsored or paid by these pharmaceutical companies these were just used for demonstration for patient education and uh, thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to District Endocrine and go to our website as well, www.districtendocrine.com. Thank you very much. Have a great day.